hopefully you're having a great day today. So in this video, I want to share with you guys why you might want to consider selling your music direct to consumer. It's really hard to rely on streams and actually get a passive income that's going to surpass that of the leverage that you can gain from offering your music direct to consumer. You might wonder, why would I want to sell my music? And first of all, why would anybody want to buy my music? For example, working at a job where I might be flipping patties and I'm not doing anything else that's increasing the value of my skills and I'm not doing anything outside of the work. I'm just going to work and then I go home and do whatever it is that I do. Then I'm never going to get ahead financially if the rents are rising, if I'm needing to make more money for family, for friends, or just being able to support myself, did you know that if you stay on that trajectory, it just gets harder? And the thing is, a lot of people stay on that trajectory, not only when it comes to jobs and employment, but also when it comes to your music. And the beautiful thing about music is that the creativity that you have inside yourself can be monetized and digitized, and you can earn a living from what's in between your ears, your creativity. So what I wanna share with you guys today is where you find that leverage. Where can you get more leverage to be able to monetize your music more efficiently? And not only so that you can just make more money, but that you can base it on your creativity and create freedom in your life to do the things that you want to do when you want to do them. And if things go terribly wrong, you know, you can always get a job. And if you guys ask my opinion on jobs, I'm a little bit different opinion on jobs. I, th I think that um, it's a risk not pursuing entrepreneurship. It's a risk not trying to make it as an artist or as an entrepreneur, because when you do try and make it, uh, you are actually uh, leaning forward in building your skills. And even if you don't make it, then you're still going to be further along than if you had not tried. And that's going to give you even more momentum or more to work with later on. And ultimately, it's a game that you will come out as a more valuable person and you'll be able to make more money from your business. Music might just be something that you want to make, but I see music and a lot of people that follow this channel see music as a product. And so selling your music as a product means that you generate income by selling your music direct to the listener, fan, or consumer. If I put my music out on Spotify, I'm not selling my music, I'm licensing my music to Spotify, and then they determine how much money you get paid or I get paid for our streams. And rather than relying on them to determine the value of the music, by selling direct to consumer, we are not only determining the packaging of the music and how valuable we want to make it, but also when we're selling direct to consumer, we are getting paid directly from that consumer and that money is going to be generated because we're providing value. I believe that streams are only as valuable as the play, the stream, or the music, meaning that music is two or three minutes. It might make them feel good. It could solve a problem for them emotionally or psychologically, and they like the music, but it's not something that can solve a big problem or provide a lot of value as if you were to give them more value in the form of digital product. So what does that look like? Well, you don't need a massive plan in order to sell your music. All you need is the album artwork, the cover of the music, and then being able to package it and add unlockable content and add things that people get when they purchase your music. If there's no value in the music, they won't purchase it. If you're able to portray that value, then you will see sales of your music roll in. Some of the biggest artists today have offered their music on markets where they give exclusive access to things once that copy of music is purchased. So let's say you offer your music in this way. And when they purchase your music for 25 bucks, they get access to merch that you drop later and they can see it firsthand before anyone else. They get unreleased songs that you haven't released anywhere else. They get free concert access to your future concerts digitally if you have an online or virtual event where you have your concert or if you want to include physically, then you can include that as well. So now you just have put in these three things that are very valuable for them 
as fans to want to engage in your music. If you've created this offer around your music and you're valuing your music as a product in this way, and maybe even offering on the blockchain so that when they purchase it, it's a verifiable collectible that can be resold and you can gain royalties from that resale. But on top of that, you have something that is $25 a piece. And if you have 100 fans that listen to your music on Spotify, you're going to get around a penny. However, if you take that same song that you've just created and you sell it to those 100 people with all of the value that we specified, then you actually just made $2,500 from your music. And so the leverage there is that in order for you to get $2,500 from your music, if you're getting streams, you would need somewhere between 1 million and 3 million streams on your music. So I want you to ask yourself this question, which one is easier to get one or 3 million streams on Spotify or to sell a $25 valuable music product to 100 people? Chances are, if you're like me, you would see a lot more leverage and a lot more value in selling your music direct to consumer. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't put your music on Spotify. Some people think that if I put my music on Spotify, then I'm not going to get a lot of money. So I'm not going to put it there because I don't want to have my music devalued. But what I'm saying is if you put your music on Spotify, it is a front end marketing that it's going to bring you more value in the future so that when you have your music selling direct to consumer, they are going to you know, see your music, they're going to discover you, they're going to listen to your songs and become a fan from those things that don't generate you a lot of money, i.e. your marketing like streaming, views on social platforms and on Spotify. And then they go to your profile and then they go to your email list or they're a part of your community and then you can sell them the direct to consumer music products that you create. And so I'm trying to make this really easy for you to understand. And hopefully you see the leverage that you get from the music and direct to consumer. And guys, this is business. If you sell 100 copies and you have the full system to make over $2,000 from your music in a matter of a couple weeks, then wouldn't it make sense to sell your music direct to consumer? Well, that's what I would encourage you guys to do. For those of you that are really interested in selling your music direct to consumer, I would encourage you guys to check out that first link in the description down below. I'm working on something that's gonna help you bring your music direct to consumer and have a profitable music career by monetizing in this way. And I look forward to you guys getting the most out of the resources that I'm building out. There's also two free books down below that cover NFT music in the industry, as well as a 29 page guide on music AI that I found to be pretty interesting and that I wrote up in order for people to just get an understanding of some of the tools that are coming out related to music AI. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.